My name is Rex Proctor. This is another screencast in the series of screencasts for our Sports Tech GB product. In this screencast, we're going to cover um, working with the timeline and the dock, which is kind of a new concept that we brought out in Sports Tech Game Breaker and have extended that into Sports Tech GB, which, if you don't know, is our iPad product. So let's take a look at how you work with the timeline. I'm going to open my first project, which I created in an earlier screencast. So I'm just going to tap on the project to open it. And since I'm in landscape mode, it's going to show the movie as maximum as it can. Now let's grab our toolbar and drag it up. So I'm grabbing by the right hand side there where you can see that finger pointing. And you'll see that it reveals the timeline. Now, if you're familiar with any of our products, this is where we create instances. So let's add a new row and do a little bit of coding. So I'm going to choose the events menu and I'm going to add a timeline event. So that will insert a row into my timeline. Let's give the row a new name. So I'm going to select the row and then tap on the text new event. Just a slight, slight uh, single tap and I'm going to name that my row. Pressing done and let's give it a little different color. Let's go with a nice yellow. And I'll select done. If I wanted to delete the row, I can hit the delete button here also. So if you want to remove something, that's how you do it. Okay, so let's slide our playhead down to around 10 seconds. And you'll notice here in the row, there's a button with an arrow pointing down. Now this is uh, like a code button, or like an event button. Select it, turn it on, you'll notice the radial pattern, that means it's activated, which is a, a similar look to Coda, Sports Code, or Sports Tech Game Breaker. And I drag that playhead along and you'll see the instance gets drawn inside the row. Let's add a couple more. Okay, great, I have three instances. Now you paint those in there and you say, oh, boy, I wanted to uh, trim that a little bit. So let's zoom the timeline. So zoom is a pinch gesture. So I'm gonna pinch out and that's going to zoom the timeline. Now my fingers are just in the area below the row. And let's, and if I wanna scroll, it's a single touch and I just drag along in an empty area. Let's keep zooming that in a little bit. Now I'm gonna, just single tap on that instance. And you'll notice that there are some vertical separating lines that appear. If I touch and hold in the left edge, inside the box basically to the end, you can see that I can drag along and change the duration of the instance. And the same is true for the end time here. So select holding the finger down and just sliding it around. Very easy to edit your instances in a row. So I'm gonna pinch in and zoom back my timeline so I can see the whole thing. And oh, you know what I forgot here, which is very easy to do, is I forgot to turn off my instance there. So I'm gonna create my third one, whoop, and then tap it again and close it. Yeah, if you forget to close your instance, the, uh, the instance will end up disappearing when you do some more editing. All right, great. So I have three instances, and we've covered how to trim those if you want, and how to zoom the timeline. Now, how do you play these instances? If you want to view one instance, just double tap on the instance. Now, you'll notice this instance gets uh, inserted into what we call the dock, which is right above here, and you'll see that it's highlighted in blue. Now. To view that, I just hit play, and all we're viewing now is just that instance that I created in my main movie. Okay, now let's go back to the main movie. You select to the left in the toolbar. This is the movie that you originally imported, or linked, I guess, your project to. So you can jump back and forth between the dock and the main movie. So if I want to view the second instance, or let's view the third and put it kind of out of order, you'll see that my dock now has two. So if I select those, I can go back and I can review those. So let's go back to our main movie. Now if I want to view the whole row, I double tap, and the whole row is then sent to the dock, so I can have that in uh, 
in, in order there. So basically the doc is kind of the history of the instances that you've looked at. But what's clever about the doc is that I can move things and I can delete things to create a nice presentation. So let's say I don't want this middle one. So if I select it and then tap on it, I can get rid of that. And I don't really need that one either, so I'll get rid of it. If I want to play multiple in a row, so I've created one there, I'm going to create another instance in here. So tapping, coding, dragging, end it. And then I'll double tap, and bang, it's in my dock there. So I look at it and say, oh, okay, well, I want that one to actually come before. So I'll select it, and then it becomes a little bit bigger, and I'll slide it along and get it in the first position. Now, if I want to view this, I click the play button. This is your dock movie play button. And you'll see that those instances now are displayed back to back. So it's the first one and then the second one. So you can literally create your own presentation by continually adding instances and moving those in the order that you want. And then just drag this down and then play it in full screen to your projector or airplay or wherever you're playing stuff out to. Okay, great. That's pretty simple stuff with the dock. Let's go back to our main movie. And I'm going to delete this row. So I'll select it and then delete. And I'll pull this back down. And I'll click on the top here to get back to my projects. And that's some basic timeline editing, and doc movie creation. I hope you enjoyed this screencast. Please look out for more. If you have any more questions, please email support at sportstech.com and we'll field those as they come.